Okay, so quick rundown here. Um, this is that uh, second area where we made that bedding uh, with the hinge cutting. Today is, oh, what is it? It's Easter Sunday. Um, cleaned out the bedding areas a little bit there. You can't see it, but uh, cleaned out. So there's about three different little pockets in there. Uh, different areas to be able to bed down. Come back and check this out after this kind of leaves out and uh, starts looking a little bit more green. There's already um, already deer shit inside there from last night. We just did this about, I don't know, 20 hours ago. Um, as we walk down towards the entrance here, made another one here. Some uh, We had some fallen timber already. Um, this big ash had fallen down, so I kind of used the ash as some structure here. Uh, to create another uh, bedding area uh, with a couple different entrances, exits, a couple different uh, areas to get into. Uh, nice cover here, exit, easy access to the water, um, but good cover in there as well. We're going to head out to uh, the third area I worked on today, which was actually the first area I worked on today. It's kind of a continuation of that bed. Um, so this other area, which is near the entrance to the field down in the corner, um, started to work on this and uh, we're gonna call this the tornado zone um, so what I did is I came through here and just zigzag cross cut dropped them back and forth in multiple directions um, just to create kind of a tangled mess through here um, obviously left as much hinge cut as I possibly could uh, so we could continue with the growth get some of the ground color get the leaves and uh, also give us a little bit of a barrier I'd like to expand it out a little bit farther but as you look um, it just kind of opens up into bigger trees so the immediate area around here I took out a lot of the small timber a lot of the immature trees and the scrub trees and try to leave our big oaks um, but also like I said create a barrier for us to be able to get in and out um, as we come down here this is the corner uh, with the path where the deer have been coming in and out uh, just over here to the right so this will give them a natural area to be able to come in maybe cut through or have to go around is the goal to have to go around this and not be able to go this tree line so they'll have to come inside the tree line or outside the tree line and go down to those bedding areas so um, hopefully give us an opportunity to be able to hunt up here on the hill where we did this year and uh, also when we get in headed towards the lake on the other side so anyway uh, that's my work for today uh, I'll see you in a couple minutes